Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concept, market equilibrium. What do you mean by equilibrium? It is a situation or it is a state of trust and there is no tendency to change from that state. Okay, that we call it as, that position we call it as mark equilibrium. Then what do you mean by market equilibrium means? It is a situation where the plans of all consumers and firms in the market match with the market players. So who are the market players? That is consumers and the sellers. Our consumers behavior is represented by demand and firms behavior is represented by supply curve in the market. And we know that quantity demanded and the quantity supplied is shown on x-axis. And on y-axis, price is measured. With respect to price, how consumers will behave and how the sellers or firms will behave. And both will be aiming to maximize their own profit. Consumer want to get more quantity at a lower price. And seller want to sell more quantity at a higher price. So both will be competing with each other and they reach as a one position where both the person's plan will match each other. So it matches the market players. That position we call it as market equilibrium. Then what do you mean by equilibrium price? It is a situation where demand for good is exactly equal to supply of good. So equilibrium price is the price at which demand intersects supply or it is a price at which demand is equal to supply. This situation we call it as equilibrium price. Here you can see Equilibrium price is a price at which quantity demanded of a commodity is equal to quantity supplied. So here quantity demand is equal to quantity supply. This price, the price at which quantity demand is equal to quantity supply, that price we call it as equilibrium price. Then what do you mean by equilibrium quantity? Equilibrium quantity is the quantity brought and sold at equilibrium price is called equilibrium quantity. So we decided this is the equilibrium price. What is equilibrium price? It is a price at which demand is equal to supply. Quantity demand is equal to quantity supply. Then what is equilibrium quantity? Then equilibrium quantity is a quantity which is brought and sold in the market at equilibrium price. So quantity brought and sold at equilibrium price we call it as equilibrium quantity. Dear students, now let us understand market equilibrium with a fixed number of forms with the help of a diagram. As we all know that under perfect competition, there will be a free entry and exit. But here we made an assumption that the number of firms in the market will be fixed. By making this assumption, we are trying to understand market equilibrium with the help of a diagram. What do you mean by market equilibrium means a state of trust. That means it is a position from which there will not be a tendency of a movement or a change either direction. So here there won't be any changes. It is a position where they don't want, both the players don't want to move from that position. That position we call it as market equilibrium. At equilibrium price, at equilibrium price, Quantity demand is equal to quantity supply. As already I told, this is a market situation. So market demand is equal to market supply. 
this is the equilibrium position and it is a what we call it as a state of rest and it is don't like to it does not like to move in either direction it want to be stay at this position itself so at this position quantity demand is equal to quantity supply both the buyers and sellers objectives are satisfied at a equilibrium price are at a equilibrium position in the perfectly competitive market with a fixed number of firms we are talking with a fixed number of firms the price of product is determined by its demand and supply forces as i have shown in the diagram you can see here price is determined by intersection of demand and supply which we call it as market forces and this is called as price mechanism if we fix the price of the product with the help of market forces that is demand and supply then that system we call it as that mechanism we call it as price mechanism professor adam smith calls this price mechanism as invisible hand what do you mean by price mechanism it is a process of determining the price of a product by intersection of market forces and adam smith calls this price mechanism as invisible hand if there is any imbalance invisible hand directs and guides both the producer and consumer towards an equilibrium dear students you make note of this is very very important point you can observe here if there is any imbalance in the market if price let us price is more than equilibrium price then there is a invisible hand that is price mechanism directs guides both the producer and consumer towards an equilibrium see observe price is more than the equilibrium price so naturally at that price supply is more he will be more happy to supply at a higher price but consumer will not be happy to buy more quantity at a higher price so quantity demanded is quantity demanded is very less and quantity supplied is more you can see supply is greater than the quantity demand so what happens supply is more than demand the price will start falling towards the equilibrium price that we call it as any imbalance invisible hand that means price mechanism directs and guides both the consumer and producer towards the equilibrium students now let us understand market equilibrium with the help of a diagram dear students you can see in the diagram on x axis quantity and on y axis price is measured you can see at p star the quantity demand is equal to quantity supply which we call it as equilibrium position so equilibrium price is nothing but a p star p star is the equilibrium price or the price at which demand quantity demand is equal to quantity supply at point e you can observe demand is equal to supply our demand curve intersects the supply curve let us assume that price falls from p star to p1 you can see price decreases price falls from p star to p1 in that situation you can see here on supply curve at point a supply the quantity supply is q1 dash but at p1 price quantity demanded you can see at point b quantity demanded is q1 
so what is quantity demanded q1 what is quantity supplied that is q1 star dash q1 dash at price what will be the price p1 at p1 price quantity demand is q1 but quantity supplied is q1 dash which is less than the quantity demand because we know when the prices are falling demand will increase so demand is more than the supply at lower price this leads to you can see excess demand at this price there will be excess demand when price is less than equilibrium price when price is less than the equilibrium price that time you can see there will be excess demand demand is greater than the supply so this will force the price to move upward and reach once again equilibrium position because this we call it as price mechanism or invisible hand will guide both the consumers and producers when price starts increasing the supply also increases when price starts increasing the demand for goods decreases that we know with the help of law of demand and law of supply law of demand says when price increases demand decreases and law of supply says when price increases supply increases as there is a excess demand we should reduce the demand as there is a shortage of supply quantity supplied so we need to increase supply one side another side we should decrease the demand that is possible by rising the price of the product so automatically it will start rising when there is a excess demand this we call it as the invisible hand which is going to guide both the demand are consumers and producers in the market dear students now you can assume that now you can assume that in the market if prices if prices if price is p2 which is more than p star our price rises from p star to p2 let us assume like that so in that situation what happens dear students you can observe in the diagram when the price line is extended at point a on demand curve you can see that we can identify the quantity demanded so what is the quantity demanded is q2 dash and on supply curve at point b you can see the quantity supplied at p2 price is q2 quantity supplied so this indicates this quantity demanded and quantity supplied itself indicates that supply is more than the demand supply is quantity supply is greater than the quantity demand when supply is greater than the quantity demand which we call it as excess supply which we call it as excess supply when supply is more than the demand again invisible hand will start operating and prices will start falling towards the equilibrium price so when price starts decreasing when price starts decreasing supply also starts decreasing because supply is excess supply is there we should reduce the supply so prices will starts falling so when price falls supply also falls automatically here at when there is excess supply means demand is less than the supply so we should increase the demand when demand will increase when price falls so the price falling will start and which we call it as a operation of invisible hand will be there in the market which guide both the demand and supply are consumers and 
producers in the market and reaches the equilibrium position. Dear students, market equilibrium with a fixed number of firms with the help of a diagram is important for six marks. Make use of this notes. Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.